Welcome to your Bite Size Basics session, designed for seniors to improve your digital skills, brought to you by AbilityNet in partnership with the BT Group. I'm Lizzie Green, and I'm the Workplace and Education Inclusion Consultant at the charity AbilityNet. In this short video, we will focus on how to use the Ringo app. Let me introduce you to AbilityNet. At AbilityNet, we are a charity passionate about digital inclusion, ensuring no one is left behind in the digital world. We help people aged 65 plus improve their digital skills in partnership with the BT Group. At AbilityNet, we support older people and disabled people with technology. We have a helpline on 0300 180 0028 where anyone older or disabled can call for advice on technology. We have an amazing team of over 450 tech volunteers across the UK. They give up their free time to help older and disabled people at home with their technology. In partnership with BT, we are offering digital skills training in selected regions across the UK. We also have a whole host of free online resources to help you make the most of the digital world. These include fact sheets, free webinars, and a handy tool called My Computer My Way that has a library of over 500 guides offering step-by-step -step instructions to make your device easier to use. So what is the Ringo app? The Ringo app is a quick and easy to use parking app. In fact, it's the number one most used parking app in the UK. It lets you pay for your parking with a credit or debit card rather than having to use cash at a machine. This means you no longer have to think about walking around with the right amount of change to pay for your parking. You don't have to visit the machine and you don't need to walk back with a valid parking ticket to put in your car anymore. So how do you register with Ringo? You can set up an account with Ringo by either downloading the app to your smartphone and following the registration instructions like the registration page on screen, or you can register on their website via your computer, laptop or tablet. When you set up an account, you will need to know the number plate of the car you want to register, as well as the colour and the make of the vehicle. You will also need to add card payment details and you are able to set up more than one car on each account if you have more than one car in your household. So how do you pay with Ringo? When you get to a car park or a parking space, it should be clearly marked with Ringo signs. These could be on a parking meter or on street signs like the pictures on this slide. Each offering Ringo has its own four or five digit location number, which you will need to input into the app. You then select the amount of time that you want to park for. The amount of time available can change depending on the maximum stay of the car park you are in. And then it will tell you the cost. Again, this will be dependent on the car park that you are parking in. It will then prompt you to pay. You may be asked for the three digit security code from your card that you have registered on your account. So make sure that you have that to hand. The menu for the Ringo app can be found at the bottom of your screen. It gives you lots of options of things that you can do on the app. The park section allows you to search to pay for parking. It will show you nearby options as well as being able to access any recently used areas you may have parked in. And you can also search for those parking codes you found on the parking meters or signs. You can also search via the town or via the postcode if you aren't able to find any signs nearby. Sessions will allow you to view the time left on any current parking sessions that are active for you. And it also lets you review your parking history so you can see all previous parking you have paid for on the app. Map allows you to look at a map of the local area and see what parking is available using Ringo. It can also give you an idea of how busy that car park currently is. Account is the place where you can update or add more car registrations to your account, update your payment details, 
download receipts or update any of your personal information that is saved in the app. And Help offers you a really quick and easy way of finding out how you can access the different support within the app and for help on any other Ringo general needs. So there are many benefits to using Ringo to pay for your parking. You can extend your session if you're taking a bit longer than you expected, up to the maximum limit of the parking area you are in. If you have more than one car registered on your Ringo account and you accidentally select the wrong car registration, you have 15 minutes to change the registration to the correct car. You can download receipts for your parking from the app. You can save your favourite parking areas into your favourites to make them easier to access the next time you park there. And when you have paid for parking in the app, a timer will count down for you how much time you have left so you can see exactly how long you have left on the parking. You can also set the app up to give you reminders when your parking is about to expire. So that brings us to the end of our mini bite sized session brought to you by AbilityNet in partnership with BT. If you need any further digital skills support, please call the helpline on 0300 180 0028 or email inquiries at abilitynet.org.uk. Thank you.